Hey, Atul. I have been uh, hearing a lot recently about this concept of uh, Carrier 2.0, where service providers, including AT&T actually, are using new technologies and, and even new business models to add value for their customers. How is AT&T going about the process of building a vendor ecosystem which supports, in particular, the enterprise market? So Steve, AT&T has primarily been a partner's model also with the core connectivity being our prime. What we've been realizing is that customers require flexibility. They want automations and fast space environment changes to be incorporated into their systems. And there's limited capital for deployment, so maximum ROI comes with partner choices, giving the flexibility to choose. And that is where AT&T is building the ecosystem, where we are bringing in partners who talk about the technology, the ability to change and deploy fast while we look at different changing parameters. So... Uh speed of action. I guess that's something that automation and AI are being touted as helpful for, isn't it? Absolutely vital. They are probably foundational to each of the services and how the operations are conducted. If you look at the network, AI is playing a role today with either predictive performance, closed loop assurance, right? What you're also witnessing is the corrective actions being driven by AI and automation so that the time or the speed which Atul highlighted, right, uh, they are addressed. It's not just about efficiency, it's resiliency. Customers want uptime, right? They want speed. So it's absolutely comes together all with AI and automation. They want it all, right? Both of those technologies uh, have been around for a while, but they're changing so quickly. Atul, how does AT&T deal with the challenge of that rapid level of both uh, development and deployment of automation and AI. at and is always focused on customer experience. Once you have the customer at the forefront of any decision making, everything moves around based on that. Mm -hmm. The key thing we focused on is data, process improvements, and the partners who are trying to get those process improvements into actionable items for us. That allows us to get the best customer experience, which drives the monetary results. Lalit, from Wipro's point of view, what are the strategies that you're using to sort of enable that service delivery across enterprises mm. in a way which requires that minimal handholding? I think AI is probably in the post-hype cycle. Mm. I think it requires us to reimagine the workflows, the service delivery models, uh, Steve. So that's what we have thought through and we've started implementing. So it's a very modular uh, nature of how we look at processes. The architectures also have to be AI enabled. Lastly, the orchestration has to be well knitted, probably managed by machines and intervened by humans where a customer is going to get impacted by AI or automation not delivering. So it's a very AI driven architecture. So modular automated, AI enabled, but still with humans in the loop. It's absolutely human in the loop. And I believe that's the right approach for the time being. We will see how Agentic is going to transform and how it's going to mature to probably maybe make few things very autonomous. I feel like humans are going to be making a comeback over the next few years when people get a taste of full automation. Do you agree with that? I think, Steve, biggest thing which we believe is to be open. Open-minded because at the time when technology is moving fast, if you think about the past and not think about what needs to change, you're always going to be in a problem. It sounds to me like that's as much cultural as it is technological. Yes, it's a cultural shift, but culture managed by technology. That's the way I would put it, Steve. That's really interesting. Atul, you agree that we're not all the way to the end of the road yet as far as working all of this out? Is that fair as well? It's a journey? Yes, it's a journey. We are at the start of the journey. And Steve, you said it at some point of time, we will come back to human intervention, but as of now, how are we able to move fast in this changing environment to take benefit of it while keeping the best part, which is respect for individuals, compassion, 
all together with trying to make decisions which are driven by the data thrown out by the advanced automations. It's a really interesting equation. We need the substance and trust and reputation of the tier one carrier like AT&T, but others as well around the world. And we need to combine it with the innovation of the big tech universe. But without that balance, the universe becomes disordered.